Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gage 3 Designs, and I'm back with another episode. Today I want to show you how to use real-time rendering in Thea Render 2.0. When you're trying to decide on which angle you want to choose, which scene you want to go with for your final rendering, Presto is your best engine to use. And I like to use it in SketchUp window. You have several selections here, um, but let's just go ahead and use SketchUp window. And let's toy around and see what we can do within the Presto engine and SketchUp window. All right, so we got a rendering going here. And it's rendering in that position. We can just go ahead and shift it around like so. We can get that front. We can do this here. You know, flip it around where you want. Just look above here. And it'll quickly give you a nice rendering. And when you're ready to stop, you can just pull up your control panel here and just hit stop. And it'll end on where you want it to end and you can go ahead and save your image wherever you want to save it also you can go ahead and do like a sketch up in the window and uh, if you prefer you can just slide this over to the side like so and maneuver around like this you can have it off on the side to see your rendering Let's uh, change a uh, texture and see what happens. Now let's try to apply this texture and see what happens. It changes right there. So Presto Engine is very beneficial and because it, it renders fast and it gives you the opportunity to render and change things in real time. And here we'll just, we can just select this and we can just, we can go ahead and apply it every, everywhere necessary. And it'll change in real time. Let's go ahead and shift it around here. Got it changed right there. So Theorender, Theorender is a pretty good software. Um, I enjoy it. You know, getting a nice clean render here. Uh, this will this will be this will be done in minutes. Um, so, you know, use Presto Engine to your advantage. Um, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.